that was really painful. But that was also really painful because it wasn't done right. Because as you can tell, I had two bad experiences with piercers. Hey, hey, yeah, I know they always talk about us. Haters out here really doing too much. Talk too much, online too much. Hi guys, it's Danielle here back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a piercing tour because it was highly requested on all my comments to talk about my piercings, the pain levels and like just tell you guys about them so that's what I'm gonna do. Anyways, I'm gonna start off with my ears just because those i feel like are pretty simple and then i'll kind of get to everything else basically the first one is obviously the earlobes which is like a very simple piercing i feel like kind of everyone has them done um the first one i literally got when i was like a baby so there's not really like a lot to it i don't really remember it but from what i can say about my second and my third one i literally didn't even feel them they were so quick i feel like earlobe piercings don't feel like anything i think they're the most least painful piercing ever so that did not hurt the only one out of these that actually did kind of hurt was the fourth one but that is just because it's right there like right where the cartilage begins so it's like a little bit more painful than the other ones but it, it kind of just depends on your earlobe because everyone's earlobes are different and like you know some people have bigger earlobes some people have small ones so it really just depends but for me the fourth one did hurt just a little bit but the healing process it wasn't bad you just um i got mine done at claire's which i've heard is really bad because of the guns that they use but the healing process is really easy for those i literally just cleaned it with the um cleaning solution every day for two weeks and they were fine i don't feel them anymore I play with them all the time they're fine um and then i have the cartilage one which is also like pretty simple it did take a while to heal i would say about like six seven months it took to fully heal without it hurting anymore like now it doesn't hurt at all but from those six to seven months there was like a lot of like really random pains going on but other than that the piercing itself i would give it like a three it wasn't painful for me at all i was really scared because cartilage is a bone so i was like oh that's gonna hurt really bad but no it didn't hurt at all actually and the healing process it wasn't necessarily hard but it wasn't the easiest healing process you kind of really have to make sure you get it somewhere where like if you're sleeping on your side every night you know it's like not really good i sleep in the middle like literally straight so it doesn't really affect me but if you're like a side sleeper just make sure you get it on whatever side you're not sleeping on but that pain for that was not bad at all and then we have this one which i have on both sides and i actually have a story for these because i had something bad happen with these but i've never told anyone about it but i got them pierced there's a whole youtube video of me getting it pierced and usually i always record my piercings like i never have a problem like all the people that have pierced me before they always let me record it and i asked him i was like hey like can i record it and he told me no and i was kind of weirded out i was like oh like okay like whatever you know like i respect him i would say it hurt like a, an 8 out of 10 it's like pretty painful i mean like it's not that bad but it's definitely one of the most painful ear piercings I've had. The most painful is definitely the industrial, but I'll get to that one. But yeah, this one, very painful, but it's very quick. Like the healing process doesn't really hurt at all. Like literally doesn't hurt. So that was good. But um, it seemed like everything was going really, really good. And then randomly one day on this side, my whole ear started gushing out blood and it literally looked disgusting. It was so gross. So I went to go to like the, cause I got these done in Florida, not in LA. And I have this piercing shop where I always go to here. And so I went there and I was like, hey, like, I don't know what to do. Like, do you guys have like some cleaning solution I could use? Or like, can you change out the bar? Like, I don't know what it was. It was infected. And they told me that the guy pierced it with not real like it wasn't like stainless steel sterling silver like anything he pierced it with like some like random thing which is really bad for new piercings if you ever get a piercing make sure it's real jewelry so he pierced it with not real jewelry and he also put like too short of a bar so my ear literally grew over it because it was swollen and it literally grew over it and it was terrible it hurt so bad and so then the person that fixed it for me they put in different bars he also told me that you're not supposed to pierce both because something about you need to let one heal then pierce the other one because it's like a really tough piercing and it's like really bad to pierce both at once so if you get this just make sure you only pierce one and then wait for it to heal then pierce the other one but now i know why the guy wouldn't let me record because obviously he was doing some shady shit it wasn't 
not doing what you're supposed to be doing. And then I have the whole, the same piercings on this side, just the four and the one. But then on this side, I have the industrial. This one I changed out like two, three months ago or something. For the first time since I got it pierced, I had it for, has it been a year? It has been a year. It just now hit a year and I would say it probably just finished healing like two months ago and that's when I went to go get it changed out because I wanted to like have a cute one. That one was very painful. It was terrible. Like honestly terrible. But I think it's worth it because it's a really, really cute piercing. So I'm telling you it's a lot of pain, but don't take that as don't get it because you know, I think the pain is worth it sometimes because they're really cute. The first one, like the first pierce that they pierced through, that one, like a two, it did not hurt that bad at all. But when they got to the second part where they, they go one, two, three, then they push it through and then they go, okay, one, two, three. That one was like a 10 out of 10. Cause it's like, when you get a piercing, your body prepared, like you're prepared for the first one, but then when you have to do a second one, that's when it's like a lot. So I think the first one isn't bad. It's the second one that was really painful. And the whole next day, my ear was throbbing like it, terrible gave me a really bad headache like i said i cleaned it every day and never got infected the next like two days like a 10 out of 10 like my ear hurt so bad but then like throughout the days it kind of just started getting less and less and it still did hurt for like six months and then when it finally healed i literally don't feel it anymore which is normal like any other piercing but it's definitely it's a painful piercing but i i think it's worth it I don't know, I think it looks cute. So a couple of days with some ear pain was worth it in my opinion, but also, you know, everyone's pain tolerance is different. So it might not hurt you as bad as it hurt me. It might hurt you more than it hurt me. You never really know. Okay, next one. Um, The next one is my septa. This one, honestly, when I first got it, I didn't even feel it like at all. Literally didn't even feel it, the healing process. I didn't, I like forgot it was there most of the time. It never hurt me at all. But if you guys were to watch the video where I got it pierced, you would know that in the video she asks me if she can re-pierce it because she pierced it crookedly and i asked her i was like oh like is like i think it looks fine so like is it gonna cause any damage and she was like no it won't cause any damage like for looks i just want to re-pierce it and i didn't want to re-pierce it because i thought it looked good so i just left it and i was like no it's fine and then like two months later i was at disney and my nose started bleeding and i don't get nosebleeds so i knew there was something weird going on my septum started hurting so bad and i ended up taking it out and for like a week and then i wanted to get it repaired because i wanted it back so then i called them and i told them what happened and they had told me that yeah sometimes like you know um if you pierce it crookedly you can like i don't know what it's called like pierce something into like one of like your nose bones and it can what why are you laughing at me? Mason, why are you laughing at me? Mason, babe, why are you laughing at me? You can like pierce it wrong and it can like go into like one of your bones. I don't know, something weird like that. So anyways, I went back and I got it re-pierced and because my nose was so swollen and it was already in so much pain from that, that was really painful. But that was also really painful because it wasn't done right. So just really make sure when you get it done that you go to like the best piercer. Cause as you can tell, I had two bad experiences with piercers, these and that one, because I didn't go to good ones. So now I, I go to this really good piercing place and I'm really good in there. Great, but before I didn't, and that's why I have so many things that I had to get redone. But anyways, now we're good. Next one is the tongue. So I got it pierced and he put the clamp on and the clamp kind of felt like a little pinch, you know, cause it's a clamp, they're clamping you down. It's a little painful, but nothing, nothing bad. He pierced the tongue and I didn't know he did it. He pulls the clamp off and he's like, and I could feel something in my mouth. But I, I was like, what is happening? Like, is he not doing it? And he was like, you're done. And I was like, what? And he was like, I finished. And I was like, wait, I didn't feel anything. So I didn't feel anything for my tongue piercing. I don't know. And you know, I've heard a lot, of, like a lot of people say that, you know, they didn't feel anything for their tongue piercing either. I just think, I don't think it's a very painful piercing, even though you would think a tongue is really painful. But for me, I don't know why I'm playing with a makeup brush. It was not that painful for me. I just, I don't know. But within like an hour of the piercing, I was like really hungry. And I wanted to eat, so I tried to eat a piece of pizza. And you know, for the first hour, my tongue wasn't really swollen. It was still like, you know, like when you first get a piercing, you don't really swell up. It's like a couple hours in, then you really start swelling. I tried to eat a pizza and it hurt so bad. Like I really didn't realize how much you use your tongue to eat with. So it was really bad and it hurt terrible. And literally a couple hours later, my tongue got so big and they give you a, a like a bigger bar so your tongue can swell. And now I have the little one 
Oh my God, it was terrible. That was some of the worst pain ever. The tongue piercing aftermath is a lot. It's really a lot. It's very, very miserable. It's just not very good. Um, it's painful as hell. But like I said, I think it's worth it. To go through a couple days of pain, it's worth it. But I could still talk. I could not eat anything. I was trying so hard to eat. The only thing I could eat was like mashed potato, soup, ice cream, things like that. So for a couple days, or not, okay, actually no, not even. Two days I couldn't eat. Then the next day, I told myself, I was like, I'm tired of eating this shit. Like, I'm just gonna force myself to, I don't even care if I mess up my tongue piercing. I ate, I was fine. My tongue piercing healed really, really quick. But those two days, terrible, terrible. But two days of eating mashed potatoes is worth it for a cute ass piercing, I'm telling you. It's still my favorite piercing to this day. Anyways, next one, we have the lip. This one, in my opinion, did not hurt that bad. And I was really scared for it. I thought it was gonna be terrible, but it, it wasn't bad, not at all, actually. At first I pierced it and it was a bigger bar because I don't really swell up that much. Like with a lot of my piercings, I swell a little bit, but not a lot. Put in mind, different for everyone. And they gave me a really, really big bar and I could not do it. Like I literally didn't even like the piercing. I thought it looked terrible because I hated the way the piercing looked because it was so long. So I went in there and I was like, hey, like I know my piercing is new, but is there any way I could change it out to a smaller bar? And they were like, I mean, it's been a day and if you haven't swelled up, then I don't think you're gonna swell anymore. They it for me they gave me this smaller bar as you guys can see that hurt like a bitch that hurt because they were literally changing out a new piercing that was not healed at all yet so that shit hurt let me tell you but the piercing itself just make sure you get a bar you like don't be like me and not get a bar you like but honestly it's been a week i kiss with it i eat with it nothing you literally everything's the same it really isn't different i mean it takes a couple days to get used to but the piercing level i would say i give it like a three it was a little bit more painful than the tongue like the piercing itself the clamp i guess because i don't even know we did it it's a little bit more painful but it was not bad at all in my opinion my most painful piercing still was the industrial and i have freaking all of these and the last piercing we have i'm gonna try i got this done like five years ago okay so i don't have the best memory on like all of these where i've gotten in the last you know two years or so i will say from what i remember it wasn't terrible but it was not comfortable at all the clamp in my opinion is the worst part because they clamp your belly button so hard the piercing i would give it like a six out of ten it's really not terrible but it is really really hard to clean like belly button piercings are so easy to get infected thankfully mine never got infected i don't know how because i'm gonna be so honest with you i am bad with cleaning my piercings like i will forget and just go to sleep i've been better lately but back in the day i didn't care you know which is so gross i i don't know why i did that but the pain level for that one six out of ten it was very very easy very quick the pain it's very temporary that's what people don't understand about piercings is the pain for piercings is very very temporary and it's not gonna last a while so you just gotta remember like you know maybe a couple days in pain for these freaking cool ass piercings like you know that's my piercing tour i hope you guys enjoyed um if you guys want a tattoo tour on this channel let me know but anyways if you want that piercing here's your sign to go get it and if your parents don't let you, try to convince them. But if they say no, don't do it behind their back, okay? Don't do that because then you're going to go to some shady piercer and they're going to pierce you wrong and they're going to be in even more pain. So don't do that. Don't go behind your parents' back. But try to convince your parents, you know, be like, Mom, I really want it. And if they don't want you to get it, well, just wait till you're 18. But I hope, I hope you do get it. But yeah, don't go behind your parents' back. That is really, really bad. Thankfully, my mom lets me get piercings. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, tap the bell, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!